Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeannie and this is Unfiltered 50s and I hope that tonight, I have not been saying this is get this glowing, <laughs> but if I have, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> I hope that I, <laughs> I hope I've been on the, I have been riding the Unfiltered 50s train tonight. <laughs> I have I don't know but anyway whatever channel you're on <laughs> you're on the right one <laughs> okay so in today's video we are going to be um, heading into a weekly roundup and so I am going to be giving you the my thoughts I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the products I've been using this week Woo, baby it's been a rough one. So I have finished up some things during this week. Let me just um, talk to you a minute about these. I finished, I picked up, um, I think I picked these up during the FabFitFun sale, the Pixie Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths. And these are um, Chamomile and Rose. And they look like this. And they did a fine job. They were fine. But I am not a very big person who likes rose-scented stuff. And if that's you, skip over these. You won't like them. Um, but if you like the scent of rose in things, pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> these are rose-scented. Not my cup of tea. Um, the ones that I have been liking, though, really, really liking, is the Pacifica Glowing Glycolic Acid Orange and Vanilla. These don't even smell. These do not even smell, but I like the fact that they have glycolic acid in them. So, I have been liking these. They have the nice little top to where you just punch them back so they stay um, moist. And I really like the Pacifica ones. And I get them at Ulta and I get them cheap. So I really, really like them. So, um, yeah, for some of the things that I've really, really been loving, I went ahead. I'm almost out of my Inky List Polyglutamic Acid. And I went ahead and repurchased another one of these. Guys, if you have not um, gotten on the polyglutamic acid train, let me tell you, this is the active ingredient, or let's say the hero ingredient in the Charlotte's Magic Serum. And um, I wanted to show you this. I really think that my under eyes are looking really, really good lately. I really believe that it has a lot to do with this serum. So whenever you pump it out, it just comes out like this. It's just a nice, nice serum. And the thing about polyglutamic acid is that it holds, I want to think that the number is 4,000 times more than its weight in water. Whereas, so it's like, um, either it's 400 times the amount of hyaluronic acid sodium hyaluronate. It's an incredible amount more, exponentially more than sodium hyaluronate. So, or, or hyaluronic acid. So this has really been doing me very, very well using this. I still am using my B5, but this has just been really, really great. Um, I've been using my sodium hyaluronate, my hyaluronic acid but I've been using this as well and I just really think it's making a game changer in my under eyes I just think that they've been looking great I think this is a really big game player and I am loving it and it's from the inky list it's on Sephora's website and this is the box that it comes in so if you haven't checked that out you might want to give it a try if you want a little plump up action on your under eyes. The other thing that I have really, really been loving is um, the Ren Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. So I'm down to about half of this jar now. And let me tell you, I was really skeptical, 
<laughs> when I say I was skeptical, I was like pretty much positive that this stuff was not going to work for my dark spots and my hyperpigmentation. And I will try to uh, remember, I will try to take a picture and put it, I did, I did take a picture when I started using it, so I'll try to take a picture tomorrow morning without any makeup and just let you see the before and after and see if we can tell. But I really, I really do see, I can tell that it's lightened up my hyperpigmentation spots. So I am loving it. I am definitely going to replace this just as soon as I use this puppy up. I will be buying another one of these. I am loving this product. I don't know what's in it. I can't figure it out because whenever I look at the ingredient deck, I don't see anything that really ought to be doing this. I'm also going to start pairing this with the tranexamic acid from Good Molecules that they sent to me. I'm going to give you an update on that as well, but I am loving this product. So big win-win as far as that goes. So then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about that I have really been loving lately is the Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This sits really nice under my makeup. It doesn't peel up, pile up, roll up in a ball. It just sits very, very nicely. And whenever I apply my makeup over the top of it, it just looks nice. There's no white cast. It doesn't leave any kind of funky residue that I have to fight with. It just goes in. This is so good. And I have been really a big, huge fan of the Make Prim PA++++ sunscreen for a long time to win me over from that. It really has to be good, and I'm just saying, Pharmacy is doing it with this little number. This is so good. I'm really impressed with this one. I am just, I'm almost done with it. I'm really liking it. Really, really liking it. So, um, and I don't know, but what this, along with the Wren, you know, just really making sure that I've got my sunscreen on and and this one just sits so nice under your makeup. It's just so nice. So I just, I'm loving this one. I am definitely going to repurchase this one whenever this tube is done. So I've really been enjoying that. I had told you guys that I had showed you in a video where I had had a horrible <laughs> reaction to some retinol product. Now, let me just step back and say that my skin is extremely, extremely sensitive skin. I pretty much cannot use anything but a retinol ester. I've used the Luna product for years. I've used the A plus retinol from Cindy Riley that we were able to choose uh, today, actually, whenever I'm filming this in our Boxy uh, Premium. It's very excited that that's going to be in Boxy Premium. So if it's not a Grand Active Retinol Ester, it really does not work well with my skin. So, I had seen <laughs> a YouTuber just rave on this product. It's by it's the Truth Treatment System Regenerating 5% Retinol Gel. This is what it looks like. This product is very, very good. Very, very good. Let me tell you, it it does something. And I'm not sure. And I'm gonna use this product. <laughs> I'm going to use this product because I'm not so sure that this is not some of what's causing my skin to look so good now. When you look at it, it is like this color, green, yellow color. This is some powerful retinol right here. If you are looking for a powerful retinol, this is it. This is it right here. I'm going to give it another whirl. I'm going to give it another whirl. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to go ham like I did. I'm going to use it once a week. 
but I'm gonna get back on this horse because I think that this stuff works. It definitely peeled my skin off. <laughs> but I really think that this works. So I got that, well, whenever my skin was so sensitive. Um, what I used to help improve with my barrier is this product right here. And this is so wonderful. And if you ever have really sensitive skin, I ordered this off of Amazon and it is so soothing. It has the um, uh, tiger grass um, active ingredient, the um, Asiatica, what is it called? Um, it's the um, it's the same active ingredient as what is in um, Sika pear uh, tiger grass. It's the um, something Asiatica, but anyway, that is the active ingredient that's in this, and it really helps with redness. It really helps with irritation. It's absolutely wonderful. So. That's what I used, and I really love this product for those times whenever my skin flares up. And I just used it, and it really, really got me back in gear within just a couple of days. So I really love this product. Okay, now, um, something that I tried to use, and guys, this is... Whenever you look at this product, you really think that it's going to work because it's got 2% hydroquinone, which is the only prescription, 4% hydroquinone is prescription strength skin lightening agent. And I really thought that this would probably be a very effective um, product for skin lightening. I saw no results from this. This is the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. It looks like this. So I think that I got this in either Ipsy or BoxyCharm one. I want to think it was Ipsy, but this really has not been effective at all in lightening of my my hyperpigmentation spots. So I've been very disappointed in this product and I am just going to choose to get rid of this one because it's not really doing anything. So I'm decluttering that. Um, then um, I wanted to let you know about my um, bronzers that I had purchased recently and I just wanted to give you a real quick rundown on my thoughts about them. So the bronzers that I have purchased recently, remember I had gotten the Warm Glow and it was called a highlighting powder. This one was from Bobbi Brown's Summer Collection and so um, you know this was the one that I just really really loved and uh, the one that I'll swatch it for you. It just has that real sheen, high sheen to it. I just absolutely adore this one. This one is just wonderful. Then I had gotten the Buxom, uh, this is Rooftop Tan. It's the Buxom Staycation Bronzer. It looks like this. And this is just a beautiful light matte. And it doesn't really have that much of a sheen to it. It's just really, really pretty. And then I had gotten Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Bronzer in medium. Yes, in medium. So those are the three right there. And then I had finally picked up um, the Tom Ford right here. And that is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in O2 Terra. And I just got the small one because I, I've just got so many bronzers and I didn't know how I was gonna feel about that one. And quite honestly, <laughs> uh, as you might would figure, and <sighs> <laughs> the, 
The one that really is my favorite, I would have to say, is the Tom Ford, the, the, the Terra. So if I had to rank them in the ones that I love the most, I would have to say that it would definitely be uh, the Tom Ford. And then I would go from there probably, probably to the Buxom. It would be the Tom Ford, then the Buxom. And then for the Shine, it would be the Bobby Brown. And then coming in at last place would be the Charlotte Tilbury. I know, that's a shocker, but I really believe that the reason why is because I feel like that the Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation here in the shade, uh, I have mine in Cappuccino, and I just really feel like that this is, you know, just such a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury that I just, you know, I just feel like that you know, I'm really impressed with these right here. And so I just feel like that this is a dupe for that Charlotte Tilbury. And so I just don't feel like that I'm really getting anything spectacular out of that bronzer. But the Tom Ford for a fair skin tone, oh, I should have just bought the big one. I should have just bought the big one. So, yeah, I really am loving this bronzer so much. It is my fave out of all of those that I've bought. So, I just wanted to give you a weekly roundup on what I've been using this past week. I haven't done a lot with eyeshadows. It's been mostly my Autumn's Rain palette. I have been so excited. Um, that's really what I'm wearing today is my Autumn's Rain palette by Sydney Grace. Uh, that I've got on my eyes, and I'm still um, wearing uh, my BoxyCharm <laughs> um, complexion products. So that's what I've, I've got my look pulled together with today, but I've been so into my Sydney Grace uh, and in anticipation of the palettes that she dropped and just in anticipation of the mystery bags being dropped. I have just been playing around with my single Sydney Gray shadows and having a ball with those. And most of um, my looks that I have done recently have been from my Autumn's Rain palette. So yeah, let me know what you've been loving this week. Um, what has excited you? What has gotten uh, your... Um, creativity flowing this week? Is there anything new out in makeup that you've tried that's really been a stellar product for you? Let me know about it in the comment section below. I'd love to talk to you about it, but that's what's been going on on the makeup table here at Unfiltered 50s and you know, <laughs> those are the things that are out and about floating around. So I love talking with you and this will wrap it up for this week of 722, I think. Yeah, July 22nd. That'll wrap up this week of July 22nd. I'll see you next week in another weekly roundup. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday, if not before, for a Frugal Friday feature. Say that fast three times. Okay, guys, smooches. Mwah. And I hope that you have everything that you need for you and yours. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the big red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell while you're there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.